Hello, my spooky friends. Let's look at a Halloween Out of Bounds project uh, in Photo P. So here is an example finished one that's spooky, and here's one that's not so spooky. I'll show you how to do both of these real quick. So let's get to it. I'm going to start by opening up a background image. So we will use this nice mirror room image. Um, I've got this image here, and I want to put my little spooky dude in the mirror. So I'm going to now place him. Um, open, <clears throat> open a place. And then I've got my little spooky screen guy. All right, now you're going to select your person. If you're going to use quick selection when you're in Photo P, you're going to have to rasterize the layer. If you're not using quick selection, it won't matter. But first, you need to figure out where you're going to put him. So for this guy, we actually do want to keep, um, and let's go ahead and, and I'm going to hit my move tool and hit my transform controls and hold shift here. I'm going to scale him down because we need him to kind of make it look like his arm is sticking out, right? And we know that we are going to end up keeping um, only this part of him. So we're not actually keeping the wall and all of that. So we have to kind of remember that as we're uh, scaling him down. All right, so you kind of make it so we can see through. Um, that'll be good. I can let his little hood hang out a little bit up here too. And then this little part of his arm. All right, so at this point, we need to select your character, okay? And I'm going to do that simply by using, I'm going to use the magnetic lasso, but of course you would use whatever it is that you like to use. And um, I'm not going to worry about mine being super precise. If I was doing this, you know, for real, I would definitely want to be precise, but here it's not going to matter too awful much. All right, so I've got my guy mostly selected, okay, and we'll just go around down here at the bottom. And then we are going to um, add a layer mask on him because I need to get rid of his background, right? So click on that. All right, so that gets him there. Um, but at this point now, we need to not have him hanging out of the mirror. So we're gonna turn him off for a second and grab a polygon lasso. Um, I like to use frames and mirrors and stuff for this. I mean, at least whenever we're starting out because that's the easiest thing to do because they're straight lines. Now the problem is that we've already got a layer mask here, so we can't like add another layer mask. So we kind of need to basically paint anything except what's in this box out on his layer. So I'm gonna invert this. So I'm gonna go to select inverse, so it's the opposite. Then I'm gonna turn this back on, and then we want to hide these parts. So we're gonna paint in black, make sure it's solid black, I don't know if that's solid black or not, actually. Oh, way over here, solid black, all zeros. All right, or you can hit D, that always restarts it. All right, we're gonna take a black solid paintbrush and we're just gonna paint out these little parts on the edges, like so. And because we have that pre-selected, we will have a nice straight edge, so it can't mess it up. And we can't get rid of him in the middle because you can't paint where you're not selected. Okay, control D. So we've got the first one here. We've got basically him in there. Now we just need to make it so a little chunk of him is popping out. Let's disable the mask. And then you need to select only the part that's gonna hang out. Let's enable it for a second. So we don't need to worry about this part. It's just this little piece over here, right? So let's disable it again. And I need to select this part of his arm. I don't really have to select a whole lot. Now I can't use quick selection unless I want to rasterize. I don't want to rasterize, so I'm going to use this instead. All right, so I'm using my magnetic lasso. I'm going around this edge, and it actually isn't going to go all the way down there. I'm going to have to fake this a little bit down here. All right, I just need a chunk. I can paint some more in, so I'm not being too worried about it. All right, there it is. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer. Just click and drag down to the new layer button so that we have two. This top one is going to be the arm, okay? Turn this one off so we, you're not confused. We're gonna delete this mask, and then while this is selected, add a mask. So just the little arm pieces there, okay? Now I'm gonna have to paint this bottom part out, but it's not a big deal. All right, now let's enable this one and turn this one on, and so there we go. And now I just have to get rid of this part that I don't want to hang out. So I'll take a black paintbrush on the arm layer, because it's the arm layer that I don't need it hanging out from, and then I'll just paint that out. And you want to make sure, again, you're painting in black and that you're on the right layer. I need to be on my arm layer. There we go. All right, great. And, you know, if you go too far, it's not a big deal. Switch colors and go the other way. And I could do the same thing with his head if I wanted to. I could disable it and be like, you know, I do want to add that part in there too. 
So I could pre-select that area if I wanted to. Now that I already have a layer mask, oops. Oh, that wasn't good. Let's undo that for a second. Now that I have a layer mask, I can pre-select an area and then just simply paint in white on that area to bring it back. Okay, so enable my mask. See, now while I have that part sitting there, I don't know that I really, I'm gonna like this too much. I can take a white paintbrush and paint that part in. So now his face would like be hanging out. And maybe I want that much hanging out and maybe I don't, I don't know. And I missed a chunk, I'm gonna press Control D because I can't paint there because I was selected. But if I Control D, then I can paint in there. I don't really like that. So I'll take it back to black and then you can just kind of decide what part you wanna hang out. I'll just take care of it right along that edge right there. That's better, right? Yeah, that looks better. All right, cool. Now he looks like he's coming down from the bottom and popping out. Now you don't want them popping out on all sides. You do need a part of it to be stuck to the edge or it's not gonna look so real because it's just like you threw them in there, right? So you need part of it to be like cuddled against your prop if you're using a prop, okay? And that's pretty much it. Some fun things you could do would be to add a layer and then load up a brush and throw some blood on here. So I could go to my brush, I could come up here and load a brush and go grab. I have some blood brushes in here that I can add and they'll be on my list. And I don't know what this one looks like, but I'm sure it'll be exciting. I'm gonna click here and I could choose a red from my knife, I guess, if I wanted to. And then just slap some blood up on here. You know, bam. It's not really the greatest there, but it's okay. <laughs> and then whenever you're finished, um, I like to add a curves adjustment layer. So hit your little adjustment layer button at the bottom, do a curves adjustment and just pull on the left side of this line kind of down some. See, look at that. Yeah, that's spookier. That's better, okay? All right, so there's one example. Let me do one more example to kind of give you this jumping in the leaves one. So if you're not into the scary stuff. So this one, instead of having a background, we're just gonna um, make a background. So I'm gonna open the image of the leaves. And then I'm gonna take my marquee, my rectangular marquee, and I'm going to draw this. And I need to remember that I want part of this popping out. So I don't wanna like have my box too high, right? I need it to look like it's popping out. So let's say we go like this, something like this. Now I also wanna have a leaf pop out. So maybe I'm gonna go a little farther over here so that I can make this leaf over here pop out. Whoops, I had it on minus. All right, I don't know if that's quite enough for my leaf, but it'll be fine. Uh, no, I don't like it. Oh, I still don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna cut on the middle of this leaf if it kills me. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I've got my selected here. I'm gonna make a copy of this layer because I don't wanna lose it in case something happens. So I'm gonna drag down to make the copy and then add a layer mask so that we only see this part. There we go. Now, turn this off so you can actually see that we can only see this part. All right, so that's good. I'm um, gonna disable the mask for a minute because we need to go select the top part. So again, you could magnetic lasso it. If you use quick selection, you're gonna have to go about this a little bit differently. I can't remember if the feet were in there or not. I'm gonna hope that they're not because I did not select them. If you don't get the top part all the way like me, it's not a big deal, we'll just paint it back in. All right, so I've got this part selected. Now I can either paint it in on this one or, and what I'm gonna do is make a new layer that's a duplicate. So I'm gonna drag down to make a copy, delete the layer mask on the copy, and then add the layer mask on this one so this little chunk is hanging out. So that's my chunk, okay, chunk. All right, and on my chunk, I'm gonna need to take a white paintbrush, not a bloody brush though, cause that's not good. A white paintbrush, hit my D for default colors, add white and then just paint in this top part because I didn't have it all. No big deal. Um, and then let's turn this one back on, enable the mask. Oh good, we got enough of it. All right, so there it is. And essentially we're done. I mean, at this point you just need to do finishing touches. So if I wanna make it look more like a picture, I could on this background layer, on the rectangular layer, go to your layer styles button and add a stroke like so and we'll change it to whatever color you want. And if you wanted to, you could take and add a new background. So let's do that. I'm gonna add a new layer and drag it behind all these. And then I'm just gonna take my paint bucket and whip some color in here. It's on white right now, that's fine. I'm just gonna click that. So there it is on white. But because now I have a layer, I can come here and choose my layer styles button again and do a pattern overlay. 
And then you can take a pattern. There aren't very many to choose from in here, but you could load some if you've got some. Uh, but here's one that comes with it. So say I want to use this pattern. That's fun. I can, you know, mess with the opacity. I could put a layer that's a different color behind this, and that would make it a different, you know, make the color look a little different. But, you know, it's whatever. All right. Hit OK. You could add shapes. You could add other stuff. And even on your chunk layer, if you wanted to add more in, you could. Like, for instance, I could disable this for a second and look, and, like, there is my leaf. So um, I can come over here and enable my mask, and then I could take my white paintbrush and paint in white here and bring in some of this leaf. Like, I don't know. There we go. I need a little bit of that. Let's say we'll make it look like it's right, right? And then I'll switch it to black, and then like we get rid of the part we don't need. So we're gonna make it look like the leaf is hanging out. Remember, nobody knows what really is the leaf and what isn't, so you can just kind of fake it till you make it, right? There we go. And that kind of looks right. We can make it go a little bit more in if we wanted to, because nobody really knows what our leaf looks like. Hey, that looks good, all right. There we go. And so now we're popping out the top. We got a leaf coming out the side, but otherwise we're hugging this nicely. And now we have a not so scary <laughs> out of bounds Halloween project or fall project, I guess you might say. Um, so anyway, that gives you a couple of ideas. Hopefully it gives you a starting point for creating your own Halloween out of bounds project using Photopea.